Hey witches, it's me. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're here with a new update. As you guys know, there's a new ability wheel, and it looks really nice. There's also a huge improvement for your PvP, as you can now equip your abilities and select them wherever you want. Whatever slot you want, whenever you want, you can reset it if you want. Like, let's equip some abilities and clear the wheel, just like that. If you like your Solaris Impulses on number 1, and your Repulse on number 7, you can now memorize them. And it's actually so handy, because if you memorize them, and you know the exact scaling of the wheel, it can be such an advantage, especially when you're like next snapped or at Summoned, because your screen is black, and when you memorize them, you can just prepare and attack. Just like that. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a little search bar, and um, I see Ventus, so let's search for Ventus. There it is. Equip. <laughs> you can have search for abilities if you're too lazy to scroll through it, or if you're a little blind like me. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna say something that might sound complicated, or is complicated for some of you, but as you know, but two annoying bugs have been fixed. Abilities not saving for Dark Josie, and abilities disappearing for help when she turns into a wolf. Oh, and overlapping. So I guess three things and some little bugs in between from the wheel in general. But the complicated part is Growwitch Hope and Charbit Hope are two separate species. You know what I mean? Because once you turn, you can equip more abilities. So what they do is once you turn into a Tribrid, your wheel will completely reset so you can re-equip everything the way you want it and then it will save. So if you turn for the first time after this update, and you see that your abilities have been reset after you turn, that's intentional, it's a one-time thing, so you can reselect your abilities as a tribrid. And the same works for DJ, you spawn as a siphoner, you break the sand clock, you equip your abilities, once you turn into a heretic as DJ, the same thing will happen, ability will will reset, you then re-equip all your abilities, and then it's settled for a life, until you reset your ability wheel yourself, you know what I mean? So it sounds complicated, and it is a little complicated, but, but once you get the hang of it, it's so easy. It's very easy. It took me about 12 tries before I had it right. Like, it's it was really complicated. We had little context about it, and it kept updating and updating and updating over time. So we started without any context, and now I'm able to give you the context that you need to understand. So I hope... I am able to help you out with this little information that I'm dropping on you. So I'm now going to fill up my ability wheel and then we're going to turn into a tribrid. Okay, as you can see, it is empty. It's empty. So we're going to equip our abilities as a tribrid. So I'm going to vampire abilities, a werewolf abilities, witch abilities. Okay, that's it. And now we're going to reset, guys. Okay, I respawned. I'm a werewitch. There are my werewitch abilities. Now we're going to turn into a tribrid again. <laughs> okay. There they are. There they are. That's how it works. And it works exactly the same as Dark Josie. You spawn in as a siphoner. You throw the sand clock. You become Dark Josie. You equip your abilities. Then you can become a heretic. Then you have to redo your abilities as a heretic. And then you're set for life. <laughs> I love how I can say it so fluidly now. After like struggling for days. And having a mental breakdowns. But I'm so happy that I can now help you guys out. And be an informative source. And I did record a little gameplay of the ability wheel. It's not that different from your usual gameplay, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, Elena? Did you trap into Traveler Magic? Oh my god. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. A ten. Look how gorgeous I am, period. Hare eti kami shimura tamae. Period. Okay guys, so while I'm editing this video, I actually noticed that 
when you're selecting an ability, there's a little different sound too, or am I delusional? I think it's different too. And it's so cute. And it's very cute. It sounds like one of those little uh, ball swings. Like, you know, you grab one and then you swing it against the other one next to it. And then it has some kind of chain reaction of keeping keeping it bouncing against each other. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Who is you? External connection. Oh! Huh? I thought I affected him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Not enough magic? That's such a joke. I could have got them all. Period. Clocking that tea. Period. <gasps> Not she like copying my ability. What the hell? The hotel. Nobody moves. Ooh. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Why is one of my hands doing that? <laughs> Okay guys, so that was my little gameplay. I did notice, and I don't know if this is new, you can now see what time is left, aka the cooldown, when you select your ability. This is new, right? Right? Anyways, I'm really glad with the improvement. You can now finally memorize and choose what slots you want your ability to have, where it is. Like, we can finally get better at the game. We can finally go on to the next stage. Period, period, period. So what are your opinions on this ability will change? Because I'm kind of curious to know what kind of feedback you guys are giving. Do you think this was a bad decision? Do you enjoy it? Tell me. Tell me. Anyways, if you enjoy my content, like the video and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Thank you very much. I do have a Discord server. The link is in my video description. And that's it for today. That's it for today. See you guys later. Bye-bye.